I'll save it again. So also I'll display a message here using toast toast dot make text. Get the application context. Shall we successfully shall we successfully stopped so we successfully stopped and provide a duration for the toast toast dot uh, long length dot long and make the toast visible show using show method okay now so before starting the service we have to check whether the service is already started or not so uh, insert this statement into a if if else statement so if status that means if status is true that means the service is already started and so I put all these statement into the else clause of the if that means the service on the else clause that means the service is not started yet so if the service is already started just show a message Uh, service already started service already started that means there is no need to start the service again because it is already running and again on the stop method first we have to check whether the service is stopped or not so if status uh, if status if the status is true then we have to stop the service so we I just enclose all these statement into if loop and in the else clause that means on the else the service is already stopped service already stopped okay service already stopped okay I save it again Now I'm going to send the message. So create an object of message. Uh, message message is equal to message dot obtain. There is a method called obtain, and there are five arguments. First one is null argument, and second one is you need to pass an integer. So I just call the main activity dot. So it is not available here because it's a private method private variable so I change it into one because I provide that integer as one there so one comma also you need there is another three arguments so provide zero for all the three arguments okay just create an object of message here and uh, now I'm going to start uh, make a string here actually I'm going to send a message to the service so this is the message from message this is the message from activity from this is the message from activity now I'm going to create an object of bundle here and I attach that string into bundle so bundle bn is equal to new bundle create an object of bundle now put the string into this bundle bn dot put string bn dot put string first you have to provide a key for the string so here I provide it as my string and provide value here the value is yes okay just uh, insert that string into the bundle object now I'm going to attach the bundle object into messenger into message object so message dot this is a method called uh, message dot message dot set data and provide that bundle object here bn okay now we can now we can send the message to the service using that messenger object so m messenger dot that is a method called uh, send and provide that message object okay now we send a message to the Client, so you need to insert it into a try catch block. I just it's the insert that statement into a try catch, a try catch block. Okay. 
now we have to <coughs> receive that bundle here receive that message here so first I create an object of bundle bundle the must dot get that bundle using get data method <coughs> we need to import bundle okay now create an object of string string message string message equal to uh, bundle dot sorry bundle dot bundle dot get string and provide the key for the string it is my string <coughs> it is my string <coughs> okay now display that message using toast toast dot make text Uh, toss dot make this and provide the message here message message plus message provide that variable here the variable is message okay and provide the duration for the toast toast dot uh, long long to long and now visible the toast using show method show okay uh, save it again now we complete the code code segment for the service now we can run it now we can run this project so right click the project and run us and tell us Android application. Okay, so here the project is launched. So start the service. Now service successfully started. <coughs> and now I invoke the service. Invoke service. Oh, there is some errors are on the project. So we have to we have to check it out. So on the main activity, go to the main activity. Here is the invoke method. I think there is some errors are present. Oh, oh, here we just forgot inserting that view argument. So we just insert the view argument again. Run the project. Again, I am going to run the project. Run the Android application and open that emulator and wait a little bit time. This is already launched here on the emulator. Okay, now we have to start the service. Start service. Service is already started because this is the project which is launched earlier. Start service. The service is already running and now I just invoke the service. Okay, it's working. Hello from the service and this is the message from send from the activity this is the message from the activity so again I just invoke it hello from the service is working uh, this is the message from the activity and stop the service now stop service service successfully stopped now the service is stopped start service again oh this is I think this is due to I just run the project multiple times that's why uh, this problem will occur so I run it again on the application as a fresh project on the new emulator and again check it out now the project is launched on a new emulator and start service okay service successfully started and stop the service okay we can stop the service now and again I start it sorry sorry I just go to the launcher and start that project start that application from from the launcher that project name is service test service test where is it where is it 
Okay, here will this service test. I just launch that project, launch that apps. Okay, now start the service. So now the service is successfully started and invoke the service. Okay, hello from the service and this is the message from the activity. Now we can stop the service. Okay, service is successfully stopped. This is how we using how we creating a service using Messenger in Android.